Prima Baptist. Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Rupa here. We'll go a snack now. Kima patties. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients and the recipe. Mutton mince, potatoes, breadcrumbs, peas, bread, onion, egg, corn flour, coriander, ginger, garlic, green chilli paste, lemon juice, chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, garam masala, nutmeg powder, salt to taste, oil. I'm going to pressure cook the mince because I'm using mutton mince which takes a longer time to cook. If you're using chicken mince, you can just cook it without pressure, it will cook much faster. So because I'm using mutton mince here, let's take a pressure cooker, add about a tablespoon of oil, add the chilli garlic, green chilli paste. Once the oil is hot, add the chilli garlic, ginger paste, saute. Add the onions, saute till the onions go translucent, add the mince, saute on high flame till the mixture of the onions and the chilli garlic ginger paste gets nicely emulsified into it. The meat changes its colour as you see. Once it nicely dries out, add the powdered masalas to it. Chilli powder, turmeric, coriander, cumin, a teaspoon of garam masala and about half a teaspoon of nutmeg. The nutmeg gives a nice flavour and it takes the rawness of the mince and it's a nice fragrance to the stuffing. Cook it on high flame till the masala is nicely mixed with the mince. We want the water to evaporate and we want this mixture to be the dry stuffing. So see that you do all the mixing on the high flame before you put it under pressure. Let's add some salt. Add very little water, maybe just one fourth cup of it. Mix and put it under pressure. This was on high flame. Let's put it on simmer and let's cook for 15 minutes. The keema is cooking under pressure for 15 minutes. Let's shut the gas. Let's keep it aside for cooling. Yeah, the keema is cooked. But it has to dry out more. At this stage, on the gas, add the peas, add the fresh coriander, add the lemon juice. And let's dry the mixture completely. Do this on high flame. The peas are already boiled. We just want it to get into a nice homogeneous mixture. And we want the moisture all out. Because when we stuff them in the potatoes, we don't want it to ooze out. The mixture is all dried out. So let's shut the gas and keep it aside for cooling. The keema is dried out and it's taken out in a bowl. So let's make the covering for the patties. This is the stuffing. For the covering, the potatoes are already boiled and smashed. Let's take them out in a bowl. Add about two teaspoon of plain flour. Salt. And take around two slices of bread. Just soak them in water. This is just to give a little binding to the potato. Squeeze out the extra water and add to the potato. 
let's mix it mix it well till a nice soft dough is formed take a egg add a little salt and just beat it well leave it aside so we have the beaten egg we have a dough from the potato and the bread crumbs and a little of plain flour let's keep the bread crumbs for coating another plate take some plain flour for dusting and some corn flour mix it well and keep it aside grease your palm with oil so that the potato mixture doesn't stick to your palms rub it take a nice medium size ball of the dough and see that you thin it out evenly into a flat deep dish keep it aside take a little smaller ball and similarly see that you press it and make it into a disc just give it a little depth and add the keema mixture into it cover it and overlap it with the with the other disc that you have made close it on all the ends it should look like a perfect round bowl the patties have been made just roll them in dry flour dip them in egg and roll it in the bread crumbs the oil is put on the gas and it's nice and hot roll it and put it in the hot oil the patties have been done roll them in the dry flour roll it in the egg cover it from all the sides and then roll it in the bread crumbs and dip it for frying in the hot oil turn them on the either side and fry them on medium gas till they turn nice and crisp from out and to a nice golden brown color as you can see everything is cooked the potatoes is already boiled and smashed and the mince is already cooked so there's no cooking time in this the frying is just done to add the crispiness to the patties and give a nice crust to them which is golden brown in color the patty is nicely fried on either side to a nice golden brown color drain them and put them on the tissue it's got a nice crisp covering the technique is to dust them in the dry flour is to get a nice crisp covering and then roll it in egg and the bread crumbs the patties are ready you can just drain them let them cool before you serve them with a choice of chutney or a tomato ketchup let's wait for them to cool serve them on a plate the keema patties are ready as you can see the stuffing is nice spicy of mince and peas coated with a soft coating of potatoes and a crisp crust of the bread crumbs it's a great hit at the tea time and you can serve it with ketchup or chutney of your choice